so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Yeah! Nice music! woo Hey, it's me, Blippi, and I was just grooving to some tunes. Check this out, though. <laughs> Do you see this? This is a tie-dye shirt, and today you and I are gonna make a tie-dye shirt. Wow, it's so colorful. Let's list all these colors. Up top, there is the color blue. Yeah. And then below that, looks like it's the color pink or red. Pinkish red. <laughs> and then we have yellow, like the color of the sun. And then we have orange at the bottom. Do you see it? Whoa! This shirt is so groovy. <laughs> All right, let's go get some supplies and make our very own tie-dye shirt. Woo! <laughs> Check it out. We have all the materials and supplies we need to make our tie-dye shirt. <laughs> all right, we don't need this because we're gonna make one. <laughs> so, first you start with a white t-shirt. Yeah. Like this, see? And then you take a dye. Yeah, let's see, a fabric dye. This is the orange fabric dye. This one is red. This one is blue. This one is purple. And this one is yellow. <laughs> and then we have some rubber bands and you tie the shirt really tight. Then you spray the dye on it but you have to wear your gloves <laughs> or else your hands are gonna get stained. I don't want that. And then we have a bag for later. I'll show you what that's all about. And the water. Okay, so first step, we need to get the shirt wet. Just like that. Let's get it nice and wet. Wow, <laughs> that water's really cold. Okay. Squeeze out all the water. Whoa. <laughs> We're so strong. All right. And then let's lay the t-shirt out on the table. Yeah. And the cool thing about tie-dye is you can do so many different designs. And it's all about how you twist and crunch the shirt and wrap the rubber bands around it. So let's, uh, let's do a swirl. <laughs> I love swirls. Yeah, kind of like ice cream swirls. <laughs> I love ice cream. Okay, here we go. So you just twist it, swirl it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> wow, I am so excited to pick the colors. Okay. There we go. And then you have a nice bunched up shirt. You could even bunch it, but I chose to swirl it. And then you take these rubber bands and, and wrap them around the top and the bottom of the shirt, just like this. Yeah, this white shirt is gonna be so colorful. <laughs> All right, there's two rubber bands. Here is three rubber bands. Perfect. This is looking so good. And then here's the fourth rubber band. <laughs> wow. Will you count to four with me? Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> good job. All right, now we get to pick our colors. But remember, <laughs> let's put on our gloves. Okay, here we go. One glove. Two gloves. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have a lot of colors. I know. I think I'm gonna choose two colors. My two favorite colors. Do you know what colors they are? Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, blue and orange. All right, here's the two colors. And then, uh, 
take the caps off. And then you get to squirt the shirt in whatever way you want. I'm gonna squirt some blue right there. I'll skip some and squirt some blue right there. How about some blue right there? <laughs> and some blue right there. Wow. The shirt was all white. But now what color is it? Yeah, there's two colors. Blue and white. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's give it a little more. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> All right. So then the other color, like I said, is orange. So let's squirt that white and get it nice and orange. There we go. Wow. We are doing so good. There we go. Perfect. Wow. Amazing. Wow, this looks so good. Do you see it? We have blue and orange. <laughs> All right, set that down. And now you take the big plastic bag and you put the shirt in there. And close it up. And now we get a weight, but you have to keep it in here for at least six hours. You can even do it up to 24 hours if you wanted to. The longer you keep it in this bag, the darker and more vibrant the colors are gonna be. Hmm, I think we should probably wait eight hours. So, let's wait. Hmm, we're almost done waiting. But I think what we should do is mix two colors and see what color it makes. First, let's take our blue. Whoa, do you see that? Whoa, that's awesome. Wow, blue water. Then let's take, how about red? Hopefully it doesn't spill on me because I don't have my gloves on anymore. <laughs> All right, here we go. Blue and red, whoa. What color is that? I have my mixing tongs. <laughs> wow, yeah. Blue and red make the color purple. Wow, let's put a little bit more red in there. Wow, now it's a dark purple. Whoa, <laughs> that's fun. Okay, well, I think our t-shirt has been in here for long enough. It's been about, yeah, multiple hours. So now I'm gonna go take this to the sink, take the rubber bands off and rinse it off. And then I'm gonna go put it in the dryer. <laughs> I'll be right back, okay? Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> Our shirt is complete. Wow, all right, here it is. Do you see it? Wow, yeah, it's blue and orange. Can you see how it, where I swirled it? Right about there. Wow, it's so cool. Time to try it on. <laughs> wow, how do I look? <laughs> that was awesome. I love making tie-dye shirts. Woo! <laughs> Yeah! Woohoo! I sure do love tie-dye shirts. Wow! Maybe now, at home, you can make your very own tie-dye shirt. <laughs> I am so excited to see the creation that you make. <laughs> all right, well, this is the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy, good job. All right, see you later. Oh, look at what it is. It's an excavator. Yeah. Are you ready to learn about excavators with me? Yeah! Let's go!
excavators are so spectacular. Let's look at the parts of the excavator. <laughs> Come here. Hmm. Let's start with the cab. This inside here is where the operator of the excavator sits. Look inside. Wow, there's a lot of controls in there. Ooh, that looks fun. <laughs> okay, let's close the door. Oh, whoa, look. Yeah, these are the tracks of the excavator. Wow, there's no wheels and tires on an excavator. There are only these tracks and it allows for it to go over rocks and mud and, and big piles of dirt and not even get stuck like this. <laughs> See, I didn't even get stuck. Woo, and look back here. This is the engine compartment. This is where the excavator gets all of its power from. Huh, look. Wow. There's more engine components on the other side and the top, but there's a bunch of radiators, coolant, and all that fun stuff in here. I almost forgot my favorite part, the bucket. Let's go. Whoa, look at the bucket. This excavator bucket is really big. It can grab and scoop a bunch of dirt out of the earth. And this part right here, the clamper, yeah, it's called the thumb. Whoa, and look at all of this. Wow, this is the arm of the excavator. It's really tall. And that part, that is the boom of the excavator. The arm and the boom and the bucket. And how all of this gets powered are these hydraulic cylinders. Wow. They push fluid up so then everything can move. Whoa, it's like I'm an excavator. That was so much fun learning the parts of an excavator. Now it's time to operate the excavator. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First things first, safety first. Yeah, yeah. look, I got my safety vest on and my hard hat. <laughs> Joysticks? These are what operate the arm and the boom and the bucket. See? Oh, and this one, this one makes it swivel. Watch this. Whoa! 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 This is so much fun. Wee! Okay, and then I'll push it the other way. Now we're going to swivel around this way. Whoa! 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 
<laughs> Whee! Okay, here we go. All right, enough swiveling. Now it's time to dig. the joysticks? Yeah! Whoa! Look at how big this scoop is! Yeah! Hey, now let's dump out the scoop! Whoa! That was a big scoop! <laughs> Driving the excavator to find a new spot to dig in. Look at what it is! It's a stump! I wonder what's underneath the stump. where the stump used to be. I wonder what's underneath the stump. Looks like a bunch of dirt. A lot of dirt. And look, a giant rock. What else? Look, it's a boom box. Boom boxes play music. I wonder what song is in here. Excavator. It's the excavator song! Excavator. Hey dirt, see you later. I'm an excavator. I've got a great big arm and a great big boom. If I start digging now, I'll be done real soon. I'm a dirt separator. I'm an excavator. Excavator. I'll teach you. All you gotta do is bring up your arm, like it's the arm and the boom in the bucket, and start to scoop. <laughs> That's fun! I've got a place where workers sit, it's called a cab Where they control the bucket to scoop and grab I'm a whole regulator, I'm an excavator Oh, can't you see that I work all day? Do you ever sleep? No time for sleep I'm an excavator, excavator, hey dirt, see you later, I'm an excavator, excavator, excavator. That was so much fun learning about 
about the marvelous machine of an excavator with you. Bye! Woo <laughs> yeah! Woo -hoo! Oh, hey, hey! It's me, Blippi. I have all of my camping gear because today you and I are going camping. Whoa, I love the outdoors. Oh, it's so beautiful. There's so many plants and stumps and trees. Whoa, look at this. An insect. That looks like a caterpillar. Whoa, hello caterpillar. <laughs> All right, we should probably keep going so we can get to our campsite before dark. <laughs> Whoa, hey, look at this beautiful plant. See this? This is a fern. Wow, look at it. It's the color green. Hey, and here's a tree back here. Oh, excuse me, fern. Look, right here, this is a tree. Yeah, you know what a tree is. There's some bark on it and also some moss. Look how tall the tree is. It's a lot taller than me, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can find here. Wow, hey, look, another insect. Hello, that looks like a dragonfly. Hello, dragonfly, how are you doing today? <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's continue on. Oh, 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 oh look, <laughs> a spider. Hey, spider, are you having a good day? Here, I'm gonna move you right over here so then I don't step on you. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, wait a second. We have some more insects. What kind of insects are these? These are praying mantises. Wow, they are so cool. Look, this is what they look like. Hello, I'm a praying mantis, hi. <laughs> okay, Whew. I think we're almost there. I'm getting a little tired. Whew. Whew. Whoa, check it out. This looks like the perfect campsite. Wow, all right, let's go over here. And then take off all of our equipment. There we go. There we go. Oh, I think I need some water. <laughs> all right. I'm just unpacking all of my camping gear. Yeah. Oh, can't forget the marshmallows. Yeah, this is for the s'mores later. Ooh, and the graham crackers. Ooh, and the chocolate. Have you ever had a s'more before? S'more before, <laughs> that rhymes, that's silly. Ooh, and my s'more roaster. <laughs> Ooh, and my coloring book. So then I can color in the tent later. This is gonna be fun. All right, what else do we have here? Well, we have our water right here. You definitely need to bring water. Yeah, so then you can hydrate. Hmm. Yum, I love water. Ooh, I have my orange sleeping bag. <laughs> this is gonna be so cozy. <laughs> Ooh, and a blue chair. I'm gonna set this up later next to the fire so then I can enjoy watching the fire. And so I can roast my s'mores. <laughs> okay, all right. We have a pair of binoculars. Whoa, look at them. This is so then you can see things from far away, like birds. Whoa, there's one right there. <laughs> Hello, birdie. Hello. <laughs> All right, set those down right here. Ooh, and a lantern. Check this out. Whoa, it's a really bright light so then at night you can see when it gets dark and a giant one gallon thing of water. So then when I'm ready to go to bed, I can put it on the fire. So then we don't start any forest fires. That would be really bad. 
Oh, yep, my camping stick. <laughs> yep, you saw that later. Helps me with my balance while I'm walking through the trails. And last but not least, my tent. Yeah, it's like your house, but when you're in the wilderness, yeah, you need a place to sleep, right? Yeah, all right, let's open it up. I think I should pitch the tent. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's like a puzzle. Whoa! This goes from one end to the other. And then I have another one of these. Now for the fun part. You raise the tent. Are you ready? Looks really good, huh? Ta-da! Now we can sleep inside. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I forgot to take off my shoes. <laughs> yeah, you take off your shoes before you get in the tent, so then you don't track in any dirt. All right, let's zip it up. Wow! <laughs> this is so much fun! <laughs> okay, a uh, coloring book I'll put right here. First, I need to take out my sleeping bag. Yeah, my orange sleeping bag. Whoa! 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 <laughs> okay, put that right over there. And then. Here we go! Wow! The sleeping bags are really comfortable. Yeah, they keep you nice and warm at night. And it's really cold. Okay, here we go. We'll get inside. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> See? <laughs> I'll stay nice and warm tonight. Okay, oh, hey, I have something fun to do. I think we could color. I have some coloring crayons right here. Yeah, I love coloring when I go camping because coloring is something fun that you can do because it's creative. It's really great. Have you ever colored? Yeah, what about drew something original? Because this, you can color this tree. Yeah, look. Blippy, welcome to my tree house. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. Yeah, you can color something that's already there, or you can find a blank page, and then you can draw something original, like blue, one, two circles, and <laughs> a smiley face with a tongue. <laughs> okay, well, what are we doing in here? We're camping. There's so much fun things to do outside. I think we should go outside and play some hide and seek. What do you say? <laughs> I love playing hide and seek. <laughs> okay, to play hide and seek, one of us needs to hide and one of us needs to seek. Yeah. Okay, I'll hide and you seek, all right? So, uh, all right, ready? Let's uh, count to five and close your eyes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Hello? Do you see me? <laughs> Do you see me? Yeah! Hey! I'm right here! <laughs> Whoa! Good job! <laughs> that was 
so much fun. Oh, this campfire is so nice. <laughs> well, anytime there's a campfire, you need to be very safe. Yeah, I made this campfire and I'm actually a grown up if you didn't know. Children should never make their own campfire. And if there is a campfire, you should always have a grown up around you. If they're not there, you should tell someone, hey, grown ups, someone should come near the campfire. <laughs> and hey, speaking of near the campfire, remember earlier I had this gallon of water? Yeah, it's about 3.8 liters. <laughs> yeah, you wanna make sure you have water near a campfire just in case if it gets out of control, you can pour some water on the fire yeah, and put it out. But it's actually in a controlled environment. See this fire pit that I made it in? Yeah, yeah, it's not gonna catch anything on fire. And that's another thing. You wanna make sure there's no branches or, or leaves or anything above it or around it. Yeah. <laughs> so now that we have a safe campfire, I think it's a perfect time to make some s'mores. <laughs> Have you ever had a s'more before? They're so yummy. After a good healthy dinner, you can have a s'more. Here, check it out. So we got some graham crackers. Yeah, and this is a rectangle, but you split it in half. And now you have two squares. Yum. <laughs> okay, and then you also have a cylinder. Yeah, that is a cylinder. See that shape? <laughs> but that's not what it's called. This is a marshmallow and they're so yummy. <laughs> okay, I'll put that right there for now. Okay, actually, you know what? I should probably be a little bit more organized with this round white plate. <laughs> All right, then see this yummy chocolate? All right, that's the third and final ingredient of s'mores. I love chocolate. Yeah, and there's actually small rectangles. Do you see them? Yeah, small rectangles. And it actually makes a bigger rectangle when they're all connected. All right, the first thing you need to do is put your mallo, your marshmallow, on your stick. So then you do not hold it next to the fire. That would be really bad. You wanna stay a safe distance away from the fire. Yeah, perfect. Wow. And then we're cooking the marshmallow. Oh, it's turning golden. Whoa, it's almost done. Whoa, that is looking so great. Do you see that? Whoa, perfect. This is gonna be so yummy. All right. Let's put it right on top of the chocolate, which the chocolate is on the gram, and then the mallow, and then another gram. Slide it out. Oh, perfect. Do you see that? I call this Yummy, yummy, yummy s'more dessert. Nom, nom, nom. Ready? Mmm. 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 Yum. <laughs> I think this is the perfect time for the camping song. <laughs> Here it is, the perfect place to pitch our tent Beneath the stars in the mighty wilderness We'll start a fire, make some s'mores and sing some songs Hey, I know one, it's the camping song Let's go camping, it's so much fun We'll learn so many things like how to fish and hunt Let's go camping and get some sun Let's go camping cause it's so much fun We'll go hiking and see all of nature's sights We'll see some animals and bugs of every kind And we'll 
sit around the fire telling stories one by one. That's why camping is so much fun. Sing along! Let's go camping. It's so much fun. We'll learn so many things like how to fish and hunt. Let's go camping and get some sun. Let's go camping cause it's so much fun. We can go canoeing down the river stream. Row, row your boat. We can watch the birds fly above the trees. So much fun we can have throughout the day. But don't forget your mosquito spray. Let's go camping. It's so much fun. We'll learn so many things like how to fish and hunt. Let's go camping and get some sun. Let's go camping cause it's so much fun. Everybody sing. Let's go camping. It's so much fun. We'll learn so many things like how to fish and hunt. Let's go camping and get some sun. Let's go camping cause it's so much fun. are so yummy and camping is so much fun! Did you have a good day with me today? Yeah! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I! -P -P -I. Blippi! Good job! Alright, I should probably put out the fire right now. <laughs> yeah! Here we go! So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout Mika! Hi! It's me, Mika! And today, I'm at Play Day in Brooklyn, New York. Today is all about fashion and style, which I love because fashion helps you express your personality. Check out my outfit. I have two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, and I love accessories like my jam pack and my watch. And because today is really sunny, I have one of my favorite accessories, sunglasses. Hello. <laughs> I feel so cool in my sunglasses. And I heard I get to put more things on my outfit inside. Come with me. Hi, I'm Mika, what's your name? Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. My name is Laura. Welcome to Playday. Oh, thank you. What kind of things can I do here? Oh, we have so many awesome classes. You can do painting, sculpture, cartooning, architecture, and fashion design. <gasps> fashion design? That's what I'm interested in. I want to add some things to my outfit. Great. So the first thing we can do is start with a mood board. Have you ever made a mood board? Yeah, I've made a mood board before. A mood board is a board of pictures and colors and words that inspire you. Okay, great. So let's get started. Follow right, me. Come on. Wow, this is a big board. Well, Mika, this is your mood board and here are all the materials that you can use. And here is your apron. <gasps> Thank you so much. So have fun and I'll come check on you in a bit. Okay, thanks. See you soon. Whoop. Oh, I'm so excited to make this mood board. Okay, let's see what we have. <gasps> Whoa, look at all of these colorful balls. Ooh, those are really fun. <gasps> There's some paint. Hmm, what should I start with? I'm gonna start with purple, one of my favorite colors. Hello again. Hey, what do you think? It looks great. Can you tell me a little about what you made? Sure, I'd love to. So I put the word confident on here because confident is the feeling I feel when I wear this outfit. And I have music notes because I love to sing and dance. And I have a big purple M because M is the first letter of my name, Mika. And it's purple, one of my favorite colors. 
I think we're ready for our next step. I think we have enough inspiration, so we should do a sketch now. Oh, a sketch. I know what that is because I'm such a planner. Fashion designers will use a sketch to help them plan what they want to make. Okay, so let's go. Follow All right, me. Come on. Wow, this is cool. So one way to make a sketch is by tracing your body on the chalkboard. And then based on your mood board, you can add all the elements that you want to put on your garment. Wow, what a good idea. Okay, Mika, can you please lean against the chalkboard? Oh yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah, for fashion designers, it's super helpful to plan and sketch out a idea or design before you make something. <laughs> All right, how's it looking? I can't wait to see. Okay, Mika. Ready? Yes. All right. <gasps> yes, I love it. I'm feeling inspired already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you can add the elements to your design and I will meet you at the sewing station. Okay, see you there. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so first I think I'm gonna draw the outfit I'm wearing right now. So what am I wearing? What do you see? Yeah, my purple t-shirt. So let me find some purple here. Whoa, look how big this chalk is. It looks like a potato. <laughs> All right, so let's see. T-shirt, short sleeves. Okay, that. All right, I'm gonna color it in. And do you notice anything else on my purple shirt? Yeah, I have some yellow on there. Whoa, look at this piece of chalk. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some yellow here on the sleeves. And yellow here. And where else is there yellow? Up here, around my neck there. Some yellow. And I have a yellow pocket. <laughs> right side. Ooh. Okay, what else do I have? Purple shirt and my jeans. Okay, I'll use the color blue. All right, and you can see a little bit of my ankle, so I'm gonna cut them down here so I have room for my shoes. I'm gonna color them in blue. Okay. Blue jeans, my purple shirt, and oh, my accessories. I have a compass watch that's purple and yellow. So I'm gonna use this purple again. And let's see. There's yellow on it too. Oh, I'm feeling like such a little designer. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can copy it. A little yellow there. There's a little yellow there. And the rest is purple. And there's a white circle in the middle. Can you see it? It's really tiny. Okay. That. And then check out my bracelets. There's blue, yellow, purple, orange. Wow, that's a lot of different colors. So we get some purple on there. Blue and ooh, a little orange. Okay, and yellow. Awesome. And oh, speaking of yellow, I have a yellow bow in my hair. Oh, I should draw my hair. It's brown and curly. Can't really tell what color this is. Let's find out. Ooh, look at those curls. Go on, Mika! Woo! Okay, okay. And then I'll put my yellow ribbon here. Mika, you look amazing. All right, and I have some white and purple and yellow ugh, shoes. Okay. Ooh. 
Whoa. Okay, some shoes. And hmm, I feel like something is missing. I have my bow, my shirt, my jeans, my accessories. <gasps> my jam pack! Oh, I forgot my super fun jam pack. Okay, let's see. I need blue and orange, and there's a white circle in the middle, <laughs> just like my compass watch. Okay, so I need orange and blue, and I'll use this black to draw the strap, and then the big circle. Okay, so there's blue on top, and blue on the bottom. These two are orange, and there's the white button in the middle. Okay, yes, she's looking great. <laughs> okay, so I want to add something, I think, to my shirt. There was something on my mood board that got me really excited. Do you know what it is? It's the letter M for Mika. I think it would look so cool if there was a purple letter M right there on my pocket. So let's see if I'm right. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. Yes, yes, that's what I want. The letter M sewn onto my shirt. That way my outfit will look super complete. And I think I'll just Add some little bedazzle here in my bag for fun, and I forgot my face. <laughs> All right, two eyes, a nose, and a giant smile. Twins. <laughs> All right, let's go over to the sewing station so I can get my M put on my shirt. Come on. Hey. Hi, Mika. I'm so excited to be at the sewing station. Welcome. I have the sewing kit ready for you. <gasps> Did you decide what to do with your design? Yes, I'm so excited. I want to add a purple M to my shirt. That's great. So I'm going to give you another shirt so you can change. Oh, cool. All right, thanks. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hi, Mika. Hi, thank you for the shirt. You're welcome. <laughs> so I have my shirt here ready for the letter M. That's great. So first thing we're going to do is talk about the materials that we oh. will be using. Yeah, there's a lot here. So for sewing, we use needles, mm -hmm. plastic needles for kids, and sharp needles for adults. Whoa. So make sure that you have a grown-up with you when you're using those sharp needles. Yeah, good idea. We also use thread and scissors. Oh, so needles, thread, and scissors. Got it. Perfect. So to thread the needle, we're going to pass the yarn or thread through the eye of the needle. Oh, oh I bet the eye is right here on top. That is correct. See that opening? Ooh, that mm -hmm. looks kind of difficult. <laughs> so don't worry, I have a trick for it. Okay. You can fold your yarn, mm -hmm. so that way it's easier to pass through the needle. Oh, smart, okay. Perfect. So next, you're gonna choose the color that you're gonna use. Hmm, there are a lot of great colors. Oh, I think I wanna use orange. I love this color. <laughs> Perfect. So now we're going to cut the thread. Okay. To measure, you hold it with your fingertips. Where's the end? Where there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and then pull it to your elbow. Okay. Whoop. And that's a perfect size to start. Nice. You want to cut it? Yes. Team work. Perfect. Love it. So now we're going to make a knot on one of the ends of our thread. Can you make a knot here? Yes, perfect. And we're gonna call that the tail. Whoop. Got a little tail. And now you can thread your needle. Okay, should I try your trick? Yes. Okay, just like the professionals do it. <laughs> I'm gonna be very careful because the end of this needle is sharp. <laughs> so close. Oh, oh, oh. That's fine. I can do it for you. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really tricky to do. Yes. It's okay. It takes practice. I have to practice more. 
All right, nice. <laughs> Thanks for your help. You're welcome. So now you can start sewing. Another tip is that you hold both the needle and the thread when you're stitching. Oh. That way the thread will stay in the needle. Got it. Okay. Oh, I don't have the letter M. <laughs> no worries. I have it ready for you right here. <gasps> wow. It's exactly what I had in my look. It's purple, one of my favorite colors. Oh, thank you so much for making this. You're welcome. Okay, so I think I want it to look like this. Hold it up so you can see it. What do you think? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So cute. Okay, so hold both the needle and the thread and you know, watch my fingers here because it's really sharp. And just poke a hole and then pull the needle through, right? Yes. Okay. Make sure you pass all the threads through. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Good job. I did it. My first stitch. <laughs> okay. And then go back through. Yes. Okay. Jeez, it's harder than it looks. <laughs> Hi. Okay, look, it's starting to stay on the shirt. Good job. Now you secure your M. Okay. Thank and you. You can add a few more stitches. Okay. Let's see, maybe I'll do one here. Okay. The final stitch. All right, now what do I do? Well, now we can cut the excess thread. Okay. I can help you. Thank you. I can take the needle. Oh, thank you. Be careful. Yes. All right. I can't believe I just did that all by myself. Great job, Mika. Thank you. What do you think? I love it. Oh, thank you so much for helping me today. You're welcome. I hope you had a good time and keep practicing everything you learned today. I will. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mika. See you Bye. later. Bye. Okay. I can't wait to put this on. See you soon. Check it out. The letter M is on my shirt and I think it looks really good. I love it. Now my outfit is complete. Oh, and I have one more thing for fun. For my jam pack. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I had such a fun day. I got to make a mood board, a sketch, and I sewed my very own M on my shirt. This was so cool. And what's cool about fashion and style is you can express yourself through your clothes and accessories. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later. Come on, everyone. to learn about it'll make you want to shout Mika hey it's me Flippy and today I'm at the Phoenix Zoo in Phoenix Arizona hey I think you and I should learn about some animals today let's go See that? That is a howler monkey. Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah, right there. That is Bilbo, named after Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> That's funny. Let's act like monkeys together. <laughs> That's Lulu the rhinoceros. And Lulu is 21 years old. <laughs> yeah, Lulu, party! 
Yay! Woohoo! Yeah! a toucan. Did you see its big beak? Kind of looks like a banana. Ah! <laughs> hey, what are you doing over there? Come over here. Let's check out another animal. Oh. Whoa! Look at this! Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, this is a tiger. Woo! Hello, kitty! <laughs> Whoa! Come over here! Turn around! Woo! This is where the tigers live! Hey! And look at who it is over here! Looks like we're getting ready to do some training! See that? The tiger is doing exactly what he's saying. It looks like they're having so much fun. Target. Target. Ooh. That was really cool. Did you see that? Hey, will you tell us why we just did that? Yeah, so uh, we train our animals so that um, they have the opportunity to make things easier for them and the staff. Mm -hmm. So we don't train our animals to do tricks. Um, we do what we call behaviors. So for example, when I was having Jay target his nose to the end of this pole, um, it allowed me to move him to different positions so I could de see different parts of his body. Um, having him stand up is not only impressive to see how big a tiger is, um, but it gives me the chance to see his underside. Because just like us, they can get injuries like cuts and bruises. So it lets me check up on his body to make sure he's still feeling good. Ooh, well thank you so much for showing me what you just showed me. You're very welcome. All right. See you later. Thanks. <laughs> Let's go see some more stuff. See that animal? It's another cat. This is a jaguar. Whoa. I have a pail of carrots and some tongs. And we just got told we need to feed the next animal. Come on. Whoa. Hey, check it out. These are cables that you have to be on this side of them. But we just got permission to head inside so we can feed the animals. Let's go. Okay, this is a short barrier. Interesting. That wasn't too hard to get in. Oh, I see the animal. Look. Let's go through the trees. Whoa. Hey, look. Look at the animal. We get a feed. Check it out. Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? This is a tortoise. Let's see. Feed the tortoises! <laughs> yeah! 
check this out. This is a carrot. And I'm using tongs because tortoises have really strong jaws. It might bite my finger off. Here you go. Whoa! Oh, whoops, it slipped. <laughs> Here you go. Whoa! Okay, would you like a little bit more? Yeah? Okay, here you go. Oh, there you go. Whoa! This tortoise is about 550 pounds. Whoa. That is really heavy. Hey, and guess how old he is? Oh. He's 66 years old. Oh, that's really old. Oh, hello. Hey, check this out. I'll pet this tortoise's head. Hello, how are you? Whoa, whoa, look, the tortoise is off the ground. Do you see that? Because that allows for all the bugs and everything to get away from its underneath area. Whoa. Okay, let's go get some more carrots. Whoa, hello. How are you doing? Are you having a good day? Ooh, check it out. See this tortoise? This tortoise is a Galapagos tortoise, and it's a female. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, and here comes the male. Whoa, do you see how big he is? Oh, I'm getting trapped. Okay, I'm gonna loop right around here. See how this one's a little smaller? And this one is bigger? Whoa! This is a female. And this is a male. Whoa! Hey! Do you two like each other? Yeah! You two look like your friends. Oh! Oh, would you like some more? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Good job! Oh, you dropped it! <laughs> hey, come a little closer! Okay, here you go! Alright! Open wide! Here comes the carrot! Whoa! <laughs> there you go! Is that yummy? Hey, tortoises like carrots just like how I do. And carrots are nice and healthy. There you go. Whoa, you have a big mouth. <laughs> Whoa, look, I'm giving this tortoise a scratch. See, how does that feel? Does that feel good? Yeah. Do you see how the tortoise is standing on its legs really high in the air? In the wild they do this because a lot of times they have bugs underneath them. And this allows for the finches, which are birds, call, call, to fly underneath there and then eat all of the bugs underneath this tortoise. Yeah, but for now, He's standing on his legs because this feels really good. It's kind of like when a grown-up gives you a back scratch. Yeah, I like when my mom gives me a back scratch. Yeah, how does this feel? You like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, my turn. Okay, my turn. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh no. Ooh, 
check this out. This is an armadillo. Okay, here you go. Run free. Whoa, look. An armadillo is one of the ambassador animals at the zoo. That means it's an animal that you can meet face to face. Whoa, hey, what are you doing? You want a treat? Armadillos love mealworms. Here you go. Uh-oh. Hey, come right over here. Here you go. Look, doesn't this armadillo look hard? Yeah, it is kind of hard. And it's not a shell. It's bone inside the armadillo's skin. Whoa. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, this is Princess Buttercup. Ooh, all right. Here you go. Here you go, Princess Buttercup. Ooh, look at Princess Buttercup's pretty little nails. Whoa. Okay, run free. Animal. What kind of animal is this? This is an Indian crested porcupine. Whoa! Look at all of its spines. Are those spines? The big ones are just to make her look scary, but the dangerous ones are down by her tail. Oh, okay, down there. Whoa. And what is she doing right now? We're just enjoying some snacks. Ooh. She likes a lot of plants, so we've got her some biscuits, some yam, and some apple today. Ooh, that sounds pretty tasty, actually. Ooh, let's take a closer look at the porcupine. Don't want to touch this animal on its tail. <laughs> Whoa! Check this out. This next area is really cool. Whoa, do you hear that? All these things are working really hard to keep this next area exactly like how the ocean is. Come here. Whoa, look at it. Whoa, there's so many filters and, and other things. It's so cool. Okay, come over here. Let me show you what it's doing. Yeah. This is Stingray Bay. And they're training the stingrays to do some pretty cool tricks. If you come to this zoo, you can use a flat, gentle hand and touch the stingrays on their back. But they're letting me go inside. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, first, I need to take off my shoes. One shoe. Whoa, two shoes. Okay, let's put those there. Can't forget about the socks because I'm gonna put these on. Whoa, they're like water socks or water shoes. Okay, let's put them on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Here we go. You have to be nice and smooth and slow so you don't scare them. Oh. Oh, the water's nice and cold. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. 
good. What's your name? My name is Mary and this is Kelsey. We work here at the Phoenix Zoo. Woohoo! So what are you doing right now? So right now we're giving breakfast to our stingrays and we're checking them to make sure everybody's healthy and happy this morning. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Can I help? Sure. Would you like to feed some? Ooh, yeah. Let's feed the stingrays. Okay. So Look at them. They <laughs> have shrimp and smelt. So you can take a Ooh. couple and you can put it in your hand. Okay. Check out the food. Whoa, looks so tasty. Okay, I put it in my hand. You're gonna hold it like an ice cream cone? Okay, ooh, I like ice cream. <laughs> okay, just like that. Put it nice and deep into the water. They're gonna swim over your hand and they're gonna suck it out of your hand like a vacuum. Okay. Okay, here you go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look at that one! So you've got a uh, blue spotted ribbon tail sitting on your feet. <laughs> okay. Do I go deeper in the water? Let's see what we can do. Oh, Come there you on, go. guys! Oh! I did it! Look! It's gone! <laughs> it sucked it right out of my hand. Can I do it again? You can, kid. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> they sucked the food right out of my hand. It's kind of like, have you ever put a vacuum on your hand and then the vacuum sucks on your hand? That's kind of how it feels like when it's sucking the food out of your hand. Whoa! <laughs> that one just swam through my legs. <laughs> Whoa! Look at them. So they're getting used to you now. So they can yeah. feel who you are by your heartbeat. Okay. They're understanding that you're not going to hurt them. And so they're coming closer and closer. Whoa. As they're getting more and more comfortable with you. Yep. Look at them. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that scared me. What happened there? They just got a little bit excited. Okay. Excited, not scared? Yeah. Okay. Because I kind of got scared. <laughs> but that's okay. They kind of seem really gentle. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. There they go again. <laughs> Look at how wet I'm getting. <laughs> All right. Let's feed some more. Take a camel ride. <laughs> Have fun, Flippy. Thank you. Look, this is the top of the camel. See the hump? I'm going to sit on top of it. Whoa! Now I'm on top of a camel. Okay. Here we go! Right, Check it out! Whee! Whoa! Hey! Look! I'm on the hump of the camel! Whoa! This is a nice camel! This is a dromedary camel. It's really high up here. Whoa. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Whee! Hello! the hump of the camel, they store 
fat in here. And they can actually go about seven months without eating food. Or three to four weeks without drinking any water. That's pretty impressive, huh? Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! Pretty long legs, huh? And it has four legs. And you and I have two. Whoa. All right, this is pretty fun. Whoa. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you very much. Hey, you're welcome. All right, okay, let's go see some more animals. Ooh, now we're behind the scenes of the Native Arizona exhibit. Ooh, check it out. Look, some tools. Hey, what does this look like? Kind of looks like a golf club. <laughs> but actually, see how it has a hook? It's used to handle certain types of reptiles, like a snake. Okay, but I'm not gonna use that because I'm not a trained professional. Ooh, check it out. Wow, some aquariums. <laughs> the fish are on the other side. We're behind the scenes. Whoa, look at this room. Whoa, this is a box. And this is where a snake lives. Let's read what kind it is. Rattlesnake. Venomous? Oh, okay, I don't think I should handle that one. Because, like I said, I'm not a trained professional. <laughs> Let's find a snake that I can handle. Whoa, this room's pretty cool. Whoa. There's so many cages right here. Whoa! What are these? These are snake sheds. Wow, every snake sheds its skin every couple months. Look at that. And they're all in one piece. Look, doesn't that look like a snake? Yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? Okay. Okay, I'll keep these right here. Okay. Yeah, this one looks like a good snake to handle. I'm handling a snake. Whoa, and look at the color of this snake. It's orange and white and black. Whoa. I used to be afraid of snakes when I was a child, but now I'm not. But some snakes you definitely don't want to hold. So if you ever see a snake in the wild, just to be safe, you probably shouldn't try and hold it like this. Okay, whoa! Look, are you having fun, snake? Whee! Hello! Hey! Whoa, look at it! Whoa! It's so intrigued with the camera. Whoa. Whoa. This is awesome. We're behind the scenes of another reptile area. Whoa, there's so many cool tanks in here with so many unique creatures. Whoa! <laughs> hey! Whoa, look right here. Oh, hey! There's someone over here. Come here! Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? Just getting ready to check out one of our horn lizards. Did you want to hold him? Yeah! A horn lizard? That's cool. 
Okay. Okay, thank you. Whoa, look! This is a horned lizard. Check out its horns. Wow. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, and he's just hanging out. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, there you go. That was awesome. Good job. Let's go. My height. Hello, hello. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. A lion? Mm -hmm. Ooh, an elephant. <laughs> Whoa, look. <laughs> this is a gorilla. <laughs> Oh. Hey. And some snakes? Yeah, I gotta hold a snake. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. Okay, follow me. Ooh, there's even a dinosaur. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Interesting. Well, hey, that was so much fun learning about animals with you at the zoo. This is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Ready? B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you later. What's behind me? Whoa, there's a lot of colorful boxes back there. And it looks like there's 10 boxes. Whoa, let's go learn our numbers one through 10. Oh, come on. All right, look at this red box. Wait a second, that's not number one. Let's go check another box. Another wrong box. That's the number nine. Oh, here's a box. Ooh, yeah. Look, we found it. The number one. Ooh, I wonder what's inside. Let's open it up. Oh, look at what it is. There's one police car. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> this is the perfect time for the Blippy Police Car song.
jeez, I love police cars. Well, one police car. Let's go find number two. Come on. Ooh, okay, here is another box. See, this is the number two. Whoa, I wonder what's inside. We gotta open it up to find out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Two shoes? Wait a second. <laughs> Look, my shoes were in the box. Okay, I gotta put on these shoes. One, two. All right, one shoe. Two shoe, gotta tie them. Okay. Oh yeah! These two shoes are perfect for dancing. <laughs> yeah! One, two. All right. Now let's find the next number. One, two. I know. Look! <laughs> the paper was telling us to go here. Another box. Whoa! This box has the number three on it. One, two, three. Let's open it up. <sighs> I'm so excited! <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Look, three balls. One, two, three. Huh, I wonder what I can do with three balls. Oh, I can juggle. <laughs> I love juggling. All right, let's go find number four. Another box. Oh, and this has the number four on it. One, two, three, four. Let's open it up. Oh, this is so tiring. I am so thirsty. Oh, 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 look. Yeah. Four juice boxes. One, two, three. Four! Whoa! All right. Yum! Here we go! <laughs> yeah! Bye-bye, Juice! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, last one. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm all hydrated, and we learned numbers one, two, three, and four, let's go find the next number. Oh, look, here it is, another box. And look at what this says. This has the number five on it. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder what's inside. Whoa. Oh, look, water balloons. Five water balloons. Dump out, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, we have one, two, three, three, four, and five water balloons. Hmm, what can you do with water balloons? I have an idea. Hey, Dee Dee. Dee Dee, come here. Hey, how are you, Blippi? Oh, good. Hey, I had a question. Do you want to have a water balloon fight? Yeah, Blippi, that sounds so fun. How many water balloons do I get? You get zero. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Fight! Woo that was so much fun!
on. All right, now that we learned numbers one, two, three, four, and five, let's go find the next number. Oh, look, a big box back there. Oh, look at this big yellow box. Oh, wait a second. That's not the next number. Let's get to this one later. Oh, oh, there's another box. Yeah, we found a box. But wait a second. You see that? That's not the next number. Must be another one. Oh, oh, here's one. Yeah, we found a box. And look, that is the number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Look. Oh, yeah. Dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. Okay, let's see what ones we have. Oh, a T-Rex. That's number one. One. Ooh, a Triceratops. That's number two. <laughs> oh. Ooh, a Stegosaurus. Whoa. Number three. Ooh, Brachiosaurus. Or a Brontosaurus. That's number four. Oh, and two little ones. Yeah. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so we have one, two, three, four, five. Six dinosaurs! Whoa! This is the perfect time for the Blippi Dinosaur Song! Dinosaur, Wrong. dinosaur, Wrong. oh I love dinosaur, Wrong. dinosaur, Wrong. dinosaur, Wrong. prehistoric dinosaur. Stegosauruses were bigger than size of a peppermint. Triceratops had three horns on their head in case they ever needed to defend. The Brachiosaurus had a really long neck and at the end was a itty bitty head. Pterodactyls would soar through the sky. Dinosaurs. All right, we've learned numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's go find the next number. Yeah, I remember this one. It was the box that came after the next one because we already saw the number. <laughs> number seven. What's inside? I don't know. Let's open it up. Whoa! Whoa! Look! It's a water filter. Huh, that's not that interesting. Maybe something's in here. Yeah! Construction toys! That's way more cool. Check them out. A bulldozer, a dump truck, a backhoe, an excavator, another bulldozer. Whoa. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, Whoa! I love construction vehicles. All right, 
let's watch some in action. construction vehicles. They're so cool how they can push things out of its way and then also dig giant holes and dump stuff out of the back. All right, so we have learned numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's go find the next number. Oh yeah, we saw this number earlier. Remember? Yeah, the big yellow box. Oh. Whoa, this one's really heavy. Okay, it says eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There must be eight things inside. Oh. Oh. I wonder what's inside. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, look! <laughs> this is awesome! There's tools. Okay, we have a hammer. We have a level. Ooh, a pair of pliers. Ooh, some Allen wrenches. <laughs> Ooh, a drill. Ooh, <laughs> that one was wireless. This has a cord a paintbrush, and a chalk line. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's count them. Okay, let's see here. We have one tool. <laughs> we have a second tool, which is a hammer. So we have a, ham a hammer, a drill, another drill, which is number three. One, two, three, chalk line. Four, ooh, Allen wrenches, five, pliers, six, a level, whoa, seven, and a paintbrush, eight. Whoa, this is the perfect time for the Blippi Tool Song. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. The wrench tightens pipes going clang, clang. A hammer hits a nail going bang, bang, bang. A drill is making holes going zzz, zzz. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Whoa! I love tools. Oh, that fell. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Oh, what's the next number? All right, we gotta go find it. Oh, oh, I see the box way over there. Run with me. Oh, I made it. This is the number nine. All right. I wonder what's inside. I bet there's nine things of these, whatever it is. Whoa! 
Whoa! Flippy glasses. All right, there's nine of them. You know what we have to do? We have to try them on. So, one, <laughs> two, three, <laughs> four, five, <laughs> Seven. I can't see. I can't see. Eight. Oh. Okay. Oh. Nine. Nine pairs of blippy glasses. Oh. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. All right, now we need to find the next number. I see the last package. Let's go. Yeah, the last package. Whoa, I am so excited to see what's inside. And it has the number 10 on it. All right, let's open it up. Oh, hey, <laughs> a package with the number 10 on it. Huh, I wonder what's inside. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh. Open up the blue package. Whoa, look at that. Oh, a bunch of markers. Oh, hey, and there's 10 markers. Okay, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, ten colorful markers. So color. Wait a second, I didn't even see this. It's a blippy coloring book. I think we should color a page. Let's color the tenth page. Okay. All right. Looks like the tenth page is Blippi, me, spraying water on a house with a fire truck to save it. All right, let's make the fire truck red. Okay, nice red fire truck. There we go. Oh, okay, nice red fire truck. And then, ooh, my shirt can be the color blue. Okay. Um, and my hat can be blue. <gasps> yeah, and my suspenders and hat is also orange. Perfect. Look, it's me spraying water on this house that it's caught on fire. Okay, fire is the color red. So let's color the fire. Whoa. And we need to save it with the water spraying. So let's color it with blue. All right. Oh, yeah! We saved the house! Woohoo! Let's color the house real quick with the color. Whoa! <laughs> brown. It's a brown house. How about that? Whoa! Look at that! That's so beautiful! Ooh! One last thing to color. Nice, lush plant right there. Okay, and that's the color green. Perfect. Wow, what a masterpiece. All right, well, this was so much fun learning numbers one through 10 with you. Let's recite them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Whoa. Will you recite them again with me? Okay, this time let's do it a little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> yeah! All right, well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I. 
P-P-I, Blippi. Yeah, see you again, bye, -bye. It's me, Blippi, and I was just dancing. <laughs> but it's really hot outside. I wish I could take a break. Well, no time for breaks when you're dancing. See that? Whoa, it's a popsicle cart, and I love popsicles. I think you and I should get a popsicle. Let's go. Hey. Hi, Blippi. How are you? What's your name? I'm Julia. Ooh. Would you like a handmade popsicle? Yeah, I love popsicles. What flavor do you have? This is cha-cha-cha. It's mango, pineapple, and chia seed. Ooh, that sounds so yummy. Mango, pineapple, and chia seeds. That is so yummy! Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Do you want to come see how they're made? Yeah! That would be so much fun. All let's right, go! Let's go! Welcome to my kitchen. Wow, look at this place. It's so cool! Thanks. Now, first thing, you need to gear up. Oh, check it out! This is an apron. Here we go. Wow. Okay, well, what do we have here? So these are all the ingredients we used to make our popsicles. Ooh, it looks like a bunch of fruit and vegetables. Yep, you got it. We actually use a lot of superfoods in our popsicles. So wow. you'll see kale and avocado Ooh. and spinach and chia seeds. What's this? This is a coconut. Wow, that's cool. A coconut, cool. Well, what flavor are we making? I thought we could make Popeye. Popeye? Yeah! All right. That's why I call it Popeye. Um, I don't know. Why? I use spinach. Okay. So here you go, hold the spinach. I was making a batch earlier, so I thought we could just add to it. Okay, so here's some spinach, and what do you have? Strawberries. Strawberries. And to sweeten it, we use dates. Ooh, dates. <laughs> All right. Come on back. Oh, okay. So here's the batch I was working on earlier. Oh, look at it. All right. Oh, that looks yummy. <laughs> Go ahead, let's add it in. Okay, bye-bye, spinach. <laughs> and then here are some strawberries. Ooh. And dates. Yum. Now, what might be different about your kitchen is we have some big equipment we use here. Really? <laughs> I'm are excited. Whoa, look at that. That thing is massive. What does that thing do? This is our immersion blender. Wow. So you put it in. Whoa. You hit the button. Whoa. 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 There you go. So that just blends it up into yeah. a liquid? It sure does. Wow, that looks so yummy. Well, now what do we do? Now we're gonna put it in our mold. Okay. And I'm gonna get my trusty pitcher. Ooh. Wow. All right. So it's basically three ingredients all blended up to make one yummy tasting liquid. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it in. Oh. And then you kinda just have to feed it through. Shake it around. Yeah. May I? Of course. Okay. Well, here's some more. Whoa! Okay. We got some chunky ones in there. Yeah, that's okay. There's some more. Okay. And then next what we need to do is, we'll just put in our sticks. Ooh. Yeah, like a popsicle stick. Have you ever eaten a popsicle and you hold on to the piece of wood? Yeah, that's what we just put in there. That's what makes them so handy. Okay. And now we put it into our extra special popsicle machine. Whoa, what does so, this thing do? It makes it super cold. It freezes the popsicle in 18 minutes. Wow, I'm so excited. I sure do love popsicles. Hey, check it out. Let's put it in. Whoa, so is that just really cold in there? Yes, it's actually made out of a special popsicle freezing liquid. Whoa, all I right. I can't tell you all my secrets. Huh. Maybe for later. Well, now what do we do? Well, usually when I wait for popsicles to freeze, I like to dance. Okay, let's go. Woohoo! Alright. I'm gonna grab this towel. 
the bonnet. That'll make a fun dance move. <laughs> yeah. We have to put it in the liquid. Okay, and what does that do? It kind of softens it up so it comes right out. Ooh, last one. Ooh. There they are. Those look so yummy. I am so excited. Go ahead, try one. Okay, how about this one? Wow. Mmm. <laughs> yum. That is so yummy. Mmm. Yum. <laughs> that reminds me. I gotta go back out and sell more popsicles. <gasps> okay, well. Do you think you could watch the kitchen for me? Feel free to make your own flavor. <gasps> make our own flavor? That sounds like fun. See you, Blippi. Thanks for showing us around. No problem. Did you hear that? You and I get to make our very own Blippi flavor. <laughs> Let's do this. Woohoo! Did you hear that? All right, you and I get to make our very own flavor, and I am so excited. All right, let's see what we have to work with. All right, you know what kind of fruit this is, right? Yeah, this is an apple. Okay, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, what are these? Check these out. Yeah, these are lemons. Lemons are the color yellow. Wow, and then we have some greens over here. Whoa, spinach. Wow, whoa, hello. <laughs> it's like hair. Whoa, whoa, this is kale, and kale is really yummy. <laughs> and it doesn't like containers. <laughs> That's silly. Okay, let's put these back in here so then we can continue to see what type of fruits and vegetables we have. Like this, whoa. This is so heavy. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Yeah. This is a watermelon, and watermelons are so big and yummy. Do you know what color is on the inside of the watermelon? Yeah. Red. And the outside is green. Okay, just a couple more. Bananas and Pineapple, yum! Okay, so you can see we have this big bucket right here and we need to put a lot of the ingredients right in here. Can't forget about the strawberries. We'll start with those. Here we go! Woohoo! <laughs> okay, that kale. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let's put some in there. <laughs> we are doing so good. Oh, apples. Okay, we could put the whole apple in there, but I think we should probably slice it. Have you ever had a slice of an apple? They're so yummy. Okay, here is our red apple slicer. And then put it right in the center, just like that. And then you push down. Whoa, look at that. That is awesome. Slice the apples, so then Pull them out, and then you can put them right in our big bucket. Wow. And you keep the core, whoop. <laughs> you keep the core, which is the center, out of it, because there's a lot of seeds in there. Oh, speaking of seeds, watermelons have seeds. <laughs> okay, let's cut open the watermelon, whoa. I'm gonna be very careful because I'm a grown up with this knife. Ready? Okay, here we go. Chop it in half, just like that. Flip it around. Wow, look at that. That looks so yummy. Our popsicles are gonna be so yummy. Okay, um, I have an idea. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> All right, we have some bananas. Open those up. Here we go. Bye bye, banana. Woohoo! <laughs> and we'll do another banana. Yum! Here we go! <laughs> Yum! Look at it. Is that looking tasty or does that look tasty? <laughs> Whoa! And remember? We learned what fruit this is. Yeah, the coconut. All right, these are a little tricky to open, but it's worth the trouble. So let's take the coconut opener. Whoa, we did it! Look at 
that. Whoa. Wow. Look at all that liquid. I just want to drink it all up. Oh. Okay, we'll put that in the bucket fur. The popsicles. Whoa. Oh, yum. Okay. Use this little coconut device and pull out some of the coconut meat. Yeah, right in there. Ooh, yummy. There we go. All right, perfect. Let's bring it right over here. Yum. All right. Oh, spinach right here. Woohoo! And then we have a bunch of grapes. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven grapes. All right. And then remember these, we used these earlier. These are dates. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, okay, can't forget about the lemons. We have so many types of fruits and vegetables in here. Here we go. Wow. Okay, let's take these and give a little squeeze. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, have you ever tasted a lemon before? Okay, let's try some. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> That's sour. Okay, let's wash our hands. And then last but not least, we have a pineapple. We cut the pineapple just like that. And you see that yellow? That looks so yummy. So now we take this pineapple tool, put it right on top, and then give it a little twist. Wow, look at that. And then you pull it out. Whoa, check that out. And then take it off just like this. And that's gonna give it some nice sweetness to these yummy popsicles. All right, I think that's plenty. Look at, whoa, that's so heavy. Come on back here. Remember that next step that we do? Yeah, she taught us that you put the bucket whoa, right here and take the big blender. Whoa, whoa, and we blend it up. Here we go. Whoa, all right, now it's all mixed up. Wait a second though, we need the magic tool. This is a giant whisk. Woohoo! Check this out. All righty, it's adding some color. <laughs> okay, let's put this right over here and then we can bring this up and grab this pitcher. Remember from earlier, we need to scoop some out. Oh, oh, I am so excited. Pour some in. Let's grab another scoop. Okay, here we go. Okay, whoa! All right, I think that's plenty. So let's give it a shake. These are gonna be so yummy. And let's take these sticks. Wow, that's a lot of popsicle sticks. <laughs> Put them right in there. Oh, perfect. Okay, now we need to bring it to the cooling station. <gasps> Here we go. Set it down. <sighs> Woohoo, we did it. All right, now remember what we had to do earlier? It's gonna take a long time. So, we get a dance while we wait. Did we just hear a ding? Oh, you sure did. The popsicles must be
be ready. Let's check them out. Woohoo! All right. Whoa, I am so excited. Hey, we gotta drain them. I can't wait to see the ingredients you use. Oh, me too. Whoa. Nice and loose. Whoa! Look at them! Whoa! My two favorite colors! Yeah! Check them out! Blue and orange! Shall we try them? Yeah. Do you like them? These are delicious, Flippy. You know what? You need to take those outside and go sell some pops. Hmm, awesome. All right, let's go try some. Sell some popsicles. <laughs> popsicles, popsicles. Who wants a popsicle? <laughs> I love popsicles. And that was so much fun learning about how to make popsicles with you at Mom and Pop Shop in Costa Mesa, California. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi, good job. Well, see you later. Come on everyone, let's make learning fun. Blippi, Blippi. So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout. Blippi!